Wednesday. It's Wednesday for me. I guess it will be next week before anybody watches my vlog this week, but I'm pretty excited to uh, to be the one kind of steering the ship this week. So first thing I want to do is give you guys a tour of my classroom because I think it's really cute. That's where I am right now. It's where I spend most of my time anyway. So I thought I'd give you a tour. Um, so like my cute shelf behind me, usually I have a quote on the quote board, but I couldn't think of one. So if anybody has any good, like I always, I've used the same Halloween, October. I try to change it once a month, but I've used the same Halloween quote for the past four years. I've got a senior boy in my class who's like, I remember literally that quote every single year since I've been a freshman. And I'm like, I know Jack. But anyway, so um, this is my classroom. We've got the comfy chair over here. Um, we have art all over the walls. We have lamps, we have cute shelves. We've got the gallery wall on the back and my amazing, incredible room buddy, one of the coolest people I know, Sarah Lewis, sits right back here. She's not in here currently, but she's pretty awesome. And then of course, my whiteboard is here and it's fun and lit up too. Um, my mom made the cushion on my stool here, isn't that cute? She did that. Um, I am not crafty like my mom in sewing. And then I love my little cute fridge. Um, here it is here with my little tiny coffee pot that I got as a graduation present in 2005. Look at her, isn't she a precious little thing? Yay. Um, but yeah, this is where I spend the majority of my time, so I figured I would record my vlog here um, since April recorded hers in her office. But this week for me and the weekend has been a lot about like cooking and food and um, all of that. So this weekend, Saturday, I went to brunch with my room buddy, Sarah. Um, and then I got to work cooking for the week and I made um, chicken tikka masala, the recipe I got from my brother. Um, and then I had April over on Monday night to try it with me um, along with some uh, roasted butternut squash and um, like, a, like an orange ricotta that went on top of it. So that was really wonderful and lovely, but um, it's so easy to make and I can't wait to share the recipe with y'all once I've kind of amended it and tweaked it um, based on like my brother's recommendations and my own taste too. Um, and I gotta get, you know, some of the measurements correct. The butternut squash too, cause wow, it was so good. And it was like fall time, wonderful. <laughs> the only thing that would make this better, yeah. if it was homestead and in the city were <laughs> That's true, that's true, but on a weeknight. On a weeknight, it is we a struggle. Monday. It is a Monday, <laughs> and store-bought is fine. Yes. I'm going to eat it all, so. See you guys later. Okay. We're going to eat our food. <laughs> um, What else? Oh, April and I played a really fun game Um, that's apparently called April's Snack Bag. Um. I don't, I didn't necessarily approve the title before I played the game. I learned about the title as we were sitting down to play the game. So that was really um, fun and, you know, spontaneous. I'm going to sit back at my desk if that's okay with everybody. Okay. Ooh, the light. <laughs> the sun is like, hey girl. Um, So it's a, it's been a really cool week Um, just for creating and doing all that. I'm really excited because tomorrow night, Thursday night, my mom is going to be at my house and we're going to work on my co my Halloween costume for Kara's very, very like elegant, spooky dinner party for Halloween. Um, so I'm really excited for that. I'm just excited to see my mom. That'll be fun. Um, and then, oh man, I had to like rest my old tired arm because I'm nearing 35. Um, <laughs> so then I'll have um, some video of that as my mom, because my mom's incredible. She makes all kinds of wonderful things and um, she can sew and she does amazing things. And so I'm really excited to see how, how that turns out um, and show that to y'all. And uh, of course, I, like I said, that'll be tomorrow night when my mom comes into town. And then Friday night, oh man, I'm really excited um, to go to Kara and Zach's and um, hang out with Kara's family because Kara's brother and brother-in-law are my absolute favorite two humans of all time. Um, especially her brother-in-law, AJ. Shouts out to AJ. Um, I'm really excited to see them and I'm really excited to have dinner with them and Kara's parents and her sister and sister-in-law too. They're all wonderful, but like AJ is kind of, you know, he knows, he knows, he knows, but it's going to be really cool. So we're going to go, we're going to have like 
food. It's going to be wonderful. We're going to be in the backyard. It's going to be great. Um, we're going to just hang out and have a good time, and it's going to be fantastic. I'm really excited about it. Um, and then, gosh, I, I really don't think there's anything that I have special planned for the weekend after that, which is kind of rare. So if anybody wants to, you know, set some plans for me, that'd be great. Um, so one of the things that I've been really, really, really working on um, myself for the past few weeks in April, you know, she, I'm watching my little students outside, but April, you know, she, uh, she subtweeted me, not really, she just like straight up added me um, in her vlog about how bad I am about getting my writing turned in. But when I tell you I have a cache of writing that I have just ready to turn in, I'm just I'm not ready to let it go. I seriously have a cache of writing that I'm just not ready to turn in and let go. Um, but some of it is, I don't know. Um, it's difficult because I really didn't know that I was good at writing um, until, this is really upsetting, but like until I started um, losing people close to me and um, writing like, honorariums or memorandums on behalf of them and um so I don't know I guess I um I feel like there's this sense of my writing isn't there unless it's like honoring or giving something a sense of memory or a sense of like respect in some way um so it's hard for me to let the stuff go um, because I just don't feel like I'm, I'm reaching that pinnacle or reaching that bar, but I'm working on it. I'm working on, um, feeling a little more confident about when I can let it go. But, um, I'm really excited to try some different things, um, this weekend. I've, I've, um, kind of planned, oopsies, <laughs> I've kind of planned to, um, make a couple of fun things, um, a couple of fall treats that I'm going to, you know, be making for my friends. Um, I'm trying to branch out from pumpkin this year. And I, you know what? I encourage everybody else to do that too. Let's branch out from pumpkin and let's do other folly stuff. Let's do stuff with like pears. <laughs> let's, and shout out to John pears. Um, let's do stuff with like, um, walnuts, which stay tuned. We might just do something with walnuts because April has a lot of them um, that she thought were Papa's, but she ends up. So walnuts, I like you're you're my cooking you're my cooking buddy. So yes. we got to figure out. What I'm thinking if if when I crack these the nuts are good, which they should be. They were mm -hmm. before the previous ones. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about doing a ravioli with them. I got the idea when I was out shopping. Well, this did I give you the idea. I just saw it when I was out. Um, there are these tortellinis that mm -hmm. were pre-made that I picked up. They're gorgonzola cheese and walnut. That sounds good. It does sound good. Um, the gorgonzola has mold in it, so I'd prefer something else. <laughs> are you not a view? Do you, do you <laughs> I feel like blue cheese has mold in it? Blue cheese has mold in it, for sure. So that's gross? <laughs> To you? Um, do it's you not, not really gross to me. Do you not enjoy the funk of blue cheese? Uh, it depends. On what? It depends. Like, I don't eat it, but mm. it's not always my preference. Our friend Scott loves blue cheese. Mm -hmm. And me too. And one time I was like out to dinner ranch. with a bunch of friends. And Scott was there. And he was ordering a salad with a blue cheese dressing. Mm -hmm. And he literally asked the question, is your blue cheese chunky? And they were like, it's pretty chunky. And he was like, okay, then I'll have it. Because the chunkier, the better. Chunkier, the better. Yeah, I love a nice, funky blue cheese. Mm. 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 You like chunky, funky? Mm. Mm. I do. I'm ready for pretzel. Well, okay, so. So, I'm. I'm we're thinking about incorporating walnut into. I'm thinking about a ravioli. Because mm -hmm. we've got the pasta maker. We can do the sheets. Mm -hmm. um, but I also have been growing some sage. Mm -hmm. And I've been drying it too. Yes. Um, and I have half a pound of ground pork already in the freezer. Yes. And I have some ground beef. Yeah. And I was thinking like a walnut sage. Oh yeah. Ravioli. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um. Let me get my notes. Uh, 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 walnut and sage pesto maybe. Hmm. 
Then we stuff it, stuff yeah. it with the pesto? We, or, I mean, we mix it, um, mm -hmm. you know, with the ricotta. If you don't want to do a little blue cheese, that's fine. We can do a ricotta. Um, obviously, like, sage and ground pork play mm -hmm. really well mm -hmm. together. That's, that was so, my thinking. Um, and then the walnuts would be really nice mm -hmm. with a sage and ground pork. So, so maybe we can... do a meatless option and a meated option. Okay, so you're then with some ricotta, which yeah. we can make. For sure. That's on the website. Yes. Kind of and it's actually kind of. very simple. Mm -hmm. It's really easy. And you can control mm -hmm. your salt levels. You can control mm -hmm. your acidity. Even Listen, the dryness level. The dryness it. level. And you can control um, the amount of milk fat you want. So mm -hmm. you can do it, you know. I actually made buttermilk ricotta once mm. that turned out a little too, like more um, firm and curdled than I wanted. Mm -hmm. But it was because buttermilk obviously is already acidic. Already. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm working on that. I'm adjusting... So hopefully that will be something I can add um, to our, you know, yeah, our, our ever, ever growing cow lawn yeah. recipes. Well, as I was making notes, you're not thinking like some um, Romano or some Parmesan. I mean, I love a Romano on? and a Parmesan, but my melt level on a Parmesan is not it. When I cut into a ravioli, I want my filling to have a certain level. No, of, you want it melty in there. I mean, I want it to have a certain level of creaminess. Mm -hmm. um, you know, mmm, ooh. Did you try that bucket? That is mm. really good. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Made it on front. Mmm. <laughs> that is so good. Mmm. Yeah, it's good with the salami. Mmm. Mmm. It's just good on a bread. <laughs> yeah, on the pretzel. Mm. I'm getting ready for Oktoberfest too. Wow. So. Yeah. That's the other that's thing. That's going to be so much fun. We're like, we're, we're previewing some snacks mm -hmm. for Oktoberfest. <laughs> but, I mean... I think that a good ravioli filling mm -hmm. has a certain level of coagulation mm -hmm. and it's got a certain level of like goop. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you said that Caroline had brought up putting ricotta in there. I ran it by her. Yeah. yeah. Well, ricotta is a natural mm -hmm. like filler cheese for a filled pasta. Mm -hmm. um, I'm interested in the, in the, in the gorgonzola because I bet that there's a little bit of a blend mm -hmm. in that tortellini um, because a gorgonzola is not a creamy cheese. Mm -mm. Let's it's a crumbly see what they cheese. Ricotta, yeah, ricotta, gorgonzola. So even if we were to put in a romano or a parmesan, we would still need our ricotta mm -hmm. to be our binder. They put potato flakes in here. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting. Hmm. It's a product of Italy. Well. <laughs> then it must be correct. Who am I to argue with the Italians? Mm -mm. Well, so I started, I mean, that sounds great for the stuffing. Mm -hmm. Like, I think we're on the same page there. Sauce, mm. because we are approaching fall. Okay, wait, I have about this. What if we did um, ground pork, we back off on the sage inside of the pork filling. Maybe we incorporate a little Romano walnut with the pork and then we and do ground a, beef and ground beef mm -hmm. sure and then we do a sage butter sauce a brown butter sage sauce to go over the pork okay one. i thought about that mm -hmm. and butter sage sauce but then i'm also thinking of creamy butternut squash <gasps> yes. with maybe the sage, with the sage, in sage that. sauce mm -hmm. for sure butternut mm -hmm. squash and ricotta mm -hmm. yeah i make a lasagna mm. with that that mm, mm, I mm. may put up on the website yeah. at some point. It has, yeah, we use butternut, or you, I think you can use an acorn squash too. I made a baked, um, a stuffed baked acorn last night. Mm. It was very good. But um, I just feel like we're we're leaning on pumpkins so heavily, and like apples too. Whatever apples, yeah, sure. Um, does anybody else hate apple picking as much as I do? Why why go and waste the time picking apples? That's so stupid. I hate it, and it's hot. If you want to go to the stupid orchard to get the stupid apples before all the stupid people get them, you have to go like in September and it is still really hot in September. Like it's hot. Like This morning I walked outside and I think it was like barely 70 and I just thought, oh my gosh, yes, it's, it's a final. No, this is a, this is a fool's fall and it's going to be 90 degrees by the time the day ends. So I can't, whatever, I'll, I'll hop off. But, um, <clears throat> yeah. We need to branch away from the pumpkin. There's more to fall than pumpkin. Dare I say maple? That's a that's a delightful and underutilized flavor. Um, dare I say 
oh, so many things. I've, I've got a lot of things that I'm thinking about, but um, of course, like if you love pumpkin, that should be what you make. That should be your thing. You should always just want to make something yummy in your kitchen, but um, there's more to the fall flavors than just, a, you know, the pumpkin. And um, I'm going to challenge myself and maybe you will too, you people who like to bake and cook um, to do that. I have really enjoyed working with squashes that I've never really experimented with before um, in the past few weeks. And um, I could eat the roasted butternut squash that I made for April and Monday night, literally every night. It's so good. Um, but all of that to say, I'm really excited about everything that's to come. I think um, that you're also gonna love our next Guess the Method. Um, scalloped cucumbers was the, uh, was the task set before us. And um, I've never cooked a cucumber um, until I did, you know, then. And um, I also never expected to, like, not hate a cooked cucumber that got cooked in milk. So I'm really excited <clears throat> for y'all to see that. It was a lot of fun. Um, and Zach didn't cheat because Zach wasn't involved. So um, that was really fun. But I'm really, really, really thrilled for everything that's to come. I'm thrilled for the season. Um, we're going to have a lot of stuff to show you because we are a very, very active group of friends um, during the fall and holiday season. Um, starting in October, we kind of like, woo, we try to pack in as much as we can, honey. And it's so much fun. Next time, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna have a little bit of a something, something to tell you about elevating um, packaged top ramen because I think that like that's such an underutilized thing um, to use. It's so fun and I love elevating it. I started trying to do it um, last year in quarantine and I think I've hit the mother load on elevating top ramen. So thank you to TikTok for that also. They've helped me out with a lot of inspiration. But I'm going to look at this beautiful light. I'm going to get ready for my class. It's going to come in in just a minute. And I'm going to enjoy my Wednesday. And I hope you all do too. Um, I hope your week is really good. And I hope that at least this week, sometime soon, you make something simple, but something that's really yummy in your kitchen that you can eat and enjoy because why not? So um, I'll see you all soon. Thanks for listening to me. Hope it wasn't too bad. But bye. Bye. <laughs>